Greetings from Sacramento, everybody. Home of the Sacramento King. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like you forgot. I'm here with my buddy, uh, Gerald, and we're gonna give you a walking tour of this area of Sac uh, downtown Sacramento. And what area is this that we're in right now, Gerald? It's a Doco area. Um, they call it Doco, but it's like the area right next to the Sacramento Kings Arena, uh, Golden One Center. And right um, it's starting to like a lot of like different like uh, restaurants and bars and places where people can go and hang out. Um, more and more like are starting to pop up. Like right. we have Solomon's here that we just came out of. And the person fun. who actually uh, opened this up, he was a founder of Tower Records. So if you're familiar with uh, Tower Records back in the day, the, one of the co-founders of that actually, this is his brainchild. He wanted to have a place where people could come, eat, listen to good music, and as you can see that there was like, you know, a paintings and murals of different artists like on the walls. Yeah, uh, this cool place. Like, yeah. I just love the vibe because everybody just comes here and just have a good time. Right. This place is a lot of fun. We just, like Gerald was saying, we just came out of there. But before we went inside this place, we actually were at a place called uh, Darling Aviary. 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 Uh, we had brunch there. Uh, we went there at 11. It's a yeah, little at the top now. Bar. Yeah. It's almost like it has a, a DJ vibe like stuff. Vegas and they had a DJ, good food. Yeah. Good drinks too. And yeah, good uh, really good drinks, and I think I had one drink too many. But we'll see because uh, it was stiff drinks. <laughs> each had two. Th those drinks were stiff. Yeah. We'll see how this walking tour video goes because, I, like I said, I may have had one drink too many. So if I'm swerving a little bit with my filming, that may be why. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and go on this walk. We're gonna walk now. We're gonna walk from here to where we go, uh, where we're gonna end this. Walk. We're gonna go to Old Sack. Old Sack. All right, Old let's do this. All right. So as Gerald was saying, this is uh, the older part of uh, downtown. Is that is that right, bro? Yeah, like they've uh, started to revitalize this area, starting to build some uh, new buildings. Oh, this is beautiful. I want to get some of these, like bamboo. Bamboo. Yeah, we. What um... is this made out of? Huh. <laughs> Trying yeah. to get cool ideas, you know, for the house. Yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we've been talking um, plants and landscape, uh, you know, landscaping a little bit, Joel and I have been so checking out plants as we see them. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Um, You'll notice that there's a lot of bike racks, so this is a bike-friendly town. So, Gerald actually tried to get me to bike with him uh, today, and I almost did, but then I was like, man, I do not want to be sweating today because I've got stuff on the itinerary that I want to get into, and so I uh, decided against it. But I, I do see a lot of people biking around uh, here. It's flat, so, uh, so there's that. But also, I want to, before we completely totally pass up on this place i want to point out darling aviary which is where uh we went prior to solomon's and this place is amazing good food stiff drinks there's a rooftop deck that's where we're hanging out at uh we had loco moco and was it like uh, kimchi fried rice i think it was and then the girls got uh pandan uh, pancake with a uh, waffle uh, that place was a polynesian inspired food Polynesian inspired, yeah, yep. um, yeah. That that was a that was a great great choice. Um, I don't know if I've ever had Polynesian inspired food, but yeah. that was pretty good. Yeah, it was, it was good. I, I I enjoyed it. All right, so we're going to cross the street here, not get hit by a trolley, bro. Right behind you. <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> There's a sign, Doko. Doko. <laughs> Walk All right, so here. Be under sun or the shade. Let's do uh, let's do shade. Okay. <laughs> uh, total Seattle light response, I suppose. All right, so um, there's a tro there's a trolley. I wanted to show it before we completely pass pass it up. Are you doing the Hi oh no, I'm doing a little walking tour video. I do I make walking tour videos, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. yeah. yeah. Man, there, What's that? You want to be on there? Shout out, man. What, yeah, man. You, you, Shout out here. Where do we find you yeah, online? Yeah, 2 Raw King. You feel me? 2 rawk one ng on IG. My boy, what's your name, bro? I'm Dennis. Uh, Dennis, and this is your walking tour video? Yes, and the channel. Sacramento right yeah, now. I'm from Seattle. Channel. I'm from Seattle. Uh, Seattle. I'm from Seattle. I do a lot of yeah, walking yeah. tour videos in Seattle, but I also do other cities as well. So, so what you know about Russell Wilson and Marshawn Lynch? What you know about them? <laughs> like, me. Yeah, yeah. Richard, Richard Sherman, you feel me? And, uh, uh, who the who is the safety? Uh, Earl Thomas. 
Yeah, Will Thomas, yeah, yeah. Thomas. yeah. And Cam Carol. Chancellor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Cam yeah. Chancellor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Legion of Boom. It's right funny because I just. Legion of Boom. I just got back we from. We got Legion of Boom. I'm a Dallas, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. I'm like an Are you? Okay. Part two of this year. year. You feel hey, me? I just got back from Oakland. I, I just found out that they closed. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah. Beast mode. The, the Beast yeah, mode yeah, store is yeah. closed, man. <laughs> I, I was. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check oh, that no, out. Man, you guys got Garoppolo. Yeah. <laughs> like I don't know if he's. Like, hey, shout out Philly though. You have a good rest of your Sunday, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, just talking to some locals Tipsy here, but um, right here. what is this? Tipsy put. It's a mini golf, local beer. Okay. Oh, okay. There you go. Anyway, um, <laughs> what is that? Those are what the? There's like bird feathers or something. Is that what those are? How come there's like uh, pigeon or bird feathers down there? Huh. Interesting. Uh, anyway, yeah, just uh, chopping it up a little bit with the. I think they're locals I'm not sure <laughs> uh, it's always fun to interact with folks on these walks but um yeah so where are we now bro there's a team store right next to the stadium what stadium now, is this this is the uh, right golden there? one center this is the sacramento kings um, arena okay there it is right there it's pretty nice looking um arena yep and then we got a, so. a new hotel like that's next to it and then that's the uh, like there's restaurants and bars to that's in front of it so that it's a unique Ooh, design wow, that's, that's nice. a hotel right there man wow okay what's the name of that hotel <sighs> gosh I forgot <laughs> the name of the hotel <laughs> really, honestly yeah well let me look it up there's a sign below that that says it's sugar Assuming that's the name of the restaurant or lounge or whatever that is, that may be. And yeah, there's a bunch of. Uh, oh, it's a Kimpton Hotel. What was that? Kimpton. Kim Kimpton? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's okay. a bunch of businesses One of those here. Boutique hotel. Yeah. It's a boutique hotel, huh? Yep. It looks boutique. I mean, yeah, it's nice. Um, I was just admiring the Hagen Das ice cream place there. Perfect weather right now for ice cream I would think it's currently about 81 degrees time is uh, 12 15 or so thereabouts um, this is great weather for walking especially if you are in the shade oh there's a couple of beautiful ladies there that just try to holler at us uh, oh those are our wives <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say a couple of ladies trying to holler We are not single. We are uh, we're uh, we're taken. We're happily taken. We're happily taken. We don't play like that. We don't play like that. Um, side chicks? Nah. Too much work. I don't want a ch uh, side chick. But um, what you guys buy? Where'd you guys oh, go? Macaroons. Macaroons. Oh, okay. All right. So we're uh, we're now joined by Claire and Amanda. They walked ahead of us a little bit because they, um, well, they wanted to. So, where are we uh, going to ultimately land on this walk here, bro? Where are we going? The end of this, we're going to Old Sacramento. Okay. Old Sac. Old Sac. Let's, um, I want to admire this building a little bit here, so check it out. So, this is the Golden One uh, Center here. This is a Northwest entry. How old is this stadium, Gerald? It's not old. It's uh, new, right? It looks five newer. Years, maybe. Yeah, it's newer. Okay. Very nice. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, Sunday vibes, huh? Mellow, huh? Yeah, it's mellow. I do like Sundays because Sundays are real mellow. And sometimes I like mellow. People are probably at home or at church. Mm-hmm. Now, being a uh, Seattle light, you know, Pacific Northwesterner, it's interesting when I come to California or go somewhere warm because I... Um, you know, the, just the layout of the land and as far as like configuration and planning, really like planning of the malls and plazas and stuff, it's, it, it, it really brings the outside inside. Like it melds the two, you know, like, yeah. like this is a very outdoorsy, I mean, in fact, it is outdoor sort of mall or plaza here. Uh, you don't see stuff like this in Seattle. I mean, we have University District or U Village, right? Um, in Seattle. Yeah. But uh, it's, but it's... that's designated as a mall, right? 
right? It's not quite like this. We do but, have uh, space places like those, but it's like, again, outside of the uh, city. Right, right. All right. What is this? A shoe store, it looks like. Oh. Okay. I see they some a lot of small businesses here. It's not yeah. like our the only like really main store in this area would be like Macy's up there. Okay. So the flagship store would be Macy's right there, y'all. So Sacramento, um, I double checked the population. Smaller than Seattle population wise anyway. Uh, uh, five hundred thousand or so. Seattle, as of the 2021 uh, U.S. Census, 730,000, something like that. Probably closer to 800 right now. Um, so Sacramento, I mean, I relate, you know, and, and compare things to Seattle because that's where I'm from. So it's, you know, it's a smaller city. Um, they're also very different cities. I'm just really talking about the population right now. But uh, what I... I do, what I do like about Sacramento is that geographically it's located sort of in the middle of so many uh, destinations. Napa Valley being one of them. We went there yesterday, Gerald and I and the ladies did and we did some, of course, did some wine drinking there. And how, how long a drive is it out there, bro? Uh, at least from our place, it was only like maybe an hour, uh, 15. But um, depending on the time of day, if you have a little traffic, it may be an hour 30, but yeah. hour 15 for the most part. Right. You leave early morning, you'll get there an hour 15. Check that out. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so um, about an hour 15, hour 30, an hour 30 minutes. Um, Amanda and I actually... We're about to go underneath I-5. This is Interstate 5 right here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Amanda and I drove to Napa Valley from Oakland to meet Gerald and Claire yesterday. And Took us about an hour and 20 minutes to get there and then uh, from there we uh, we drove to to oakland we fall i mean to uh, sacramento we followed gerald and claire to sacramento and it was about a yeah an hour and 30 minute drive uh not bad so from here to the bay like san francisco how long a drive is that uh to the bay bridge yeah it'd be like maybe hour 15 hour 30 depending on traffic Okay. But then once you get on the Bay Bridge, that's a different story because there's always traffic trying right, to get right. into the city. Right. And then depending on where your destination is, uh, okay. your imagination can just, you know, fill the blank at that, the time. <laughs> sure. Now, what about to Lake Tahoe, which I understand is one of the other major attractions that's, that this is, uh, yeah. sort of sits in the middle between these places that we've mentioned. Lake, Lake Tahoe is actually pretty big. Um, the South Lake Tahoe, you can probably get there in an hour, 15, hour, 20 minutes. Mm. Um, if you're talking about Reno itself, um, it'll take about an hour, 45 minutes. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Sacramento really is in the middle of many of these, you know, prime destinations, right? Yep. Check out these murals, y'all. Wow. Yeah. So we are walking right underneath I-5, you're saying? Yep. The freeway is right uh, directly above us right now. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, so we are... Um, I-5 is right above us. Yeah. We're on our way, on our way to Old Sacramento. And there's a sign right there straight ahead uh, indicating what all we're, uh, we so can expect to see. Right here on here. Left side. Let's look at the uh, historical timeline of Sacramento. Yeah. Wow. Now, if you've been watching the uh, uh, up to this point which is this is like the 12 minute 13 minute mark that we're at I want to thank you for doing that because you've been committed <laughs> uh, and also you you may have noticed that the microphone that I'm using right now is uh, 
different it, it might sound a little different from how my videos usually sound usually I'll use an external mic this is a different mic this is a, a an all direction microphone that I'm using and that's because I wanted to also capture the ambient or ambient um, sound um, and also be able to uh, have you hear what Gerald has to share with us Ooh, look at this wow yeah I wanted so to this yeah. area the <sighs> feel of like the uh, uh, gold wow rush. yeah yeah uh, I, like, I feel like we just went back in time bro yeah they kept this as like a historical site right wow yeah it feels like we just went way back in time wow reminds me of a uh, like Fort Fort Worth like a you know the old old area of Fort Worth all right we're just waiting for Amanda and Claire what a Oh, they're just talking. Yeah, they are. Hey, ladies! Amanda. Okay, they're uh, they're talking deep into uh, their conversation. And I usually like to keep my videos running when I make these walking tour videos. I like to call these videos one take videos. This is how. This is one way that I can. Um, present videos to you in a very raw sort of way um, and I'm sweating just took off my hat because I'm sweating um, so you know that golden bridge that we crossed it's just like right behind these buildings oh okay all right all right should we cross there's a sign right there Sacramento waterfront Yeah, I'm sweating. Um, it's fine when... There you go, Sacramento's best Irish coffee. I was telling you oh, Okay. This is one of the things that we're going to get is this here. Sacramento's... Sacramento's best Irish coffee. Uh, that'll be refreshing. So long as it's... Is it an ice drink, Gerald? Is it an ice drink that we're getting? Yeah. Or is it hot? It's cold. Oh, it's cold. Okay. It's a, it's a cold drink. Um, I'm uh, super sweaty right now and it'll be nice to get that and we're gonna get that soon because we're gonna meet Claire's sister and her husband here and hang out with them and so I will go ahead and end this video here there might be another video that I make after this uh, stay tuned but for the time being this seems like a good natural spot to end this video from a historic old town sacramento thanks for watching and walking with us take care and i will see you next time peace